Yo, yo. Happy Three Kings Day. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> How you yeah, feeling? Yeah. How, what's going on with you today? Hey, man, you know what? Um, uh, I, I'm sitting here, and uh, I'm really appreciating my culture and the things that we are involved with that make us a great people. And um, I, I'm just going to uh, – I'm going to settle with that, and um, – I'm going to say that um, we are incredible, we are excellent, and we prove that we are the best of the best. Absolutely. Here to give you your flowers today, as well as our guest, Curious well, and Chino. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> as well, uh, well deserved. Uh, while we're waiting on the guys, uh, tell us a little bit outside of hip hop and music, what's been going on? in the day in the life of uh, Prince Power? Um, well, you know, um, I'm going to tell you straight up. So I suffer from real mental health issues and I, um, I'm incapable of um, living a normal life because of my mental health issues, but I'm working on them. And I think that I might have found a good medium where I can be productive and it's a, it, it's a tough deal, bro. It's a tough right. deal. But um, I, I, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. And, and I'm working hard and I'm fighting. So, um, you know, I know that a lot of individuals like yourself and um, – a lot of individuals that uh, are backing me up, man, and I and I really appreciate all that. I, I love that. I love that y'all backing me up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think I think that we're gonna be good, man. I think this is gonna be a good year. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, let me see if we got the guys joining us just yet. They cheat Georgie's to be right there, though. Yeah, not just yet. I don't see them. Uh, as they come in, I will request for them to join. Um, I guess while we're waiting, uh, tell me a little bit from your perspective. The other guys, uh, your perspective uh, about the Latino influence in hip hop. What have you seen throughout the years? Well, what I've seen throughout the years is um, uh, a basically a disrespect for Latinos and hip hop. Um, we were there since day one. Um, you know, go back to my man Crazy Legs and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been there since day one, and I've never seen any recognition for us as a Latino people to be... Um, to be a part of hip hop culture and uh, a part of hip hop culture that we actually mean something. Um, I'm flattered and I love that I'm a part of the hip hop culture, but I gotta say, man, you know, we really don't get our fucking respect, man. We don't get our respect on what we do and shit. So, um, I just, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm kind of, oh, shit, Jorge! Yeah. <laughs> What's up, brother? Yeah! Oh, it's already becoming legendary. So, so, so what I was saying, yo, I was yeah, saying, like, we don't get a respect as hip-hop individuals that have been there from day one. And um, I, I think it's about that time that we do get that respect. Right. How about Jorge? yourself? Chime in, Jorge! What up, what up? <laughs> How you feeling? I feel all right, man. A little tired, but you know, I'm here, no baby. Doubt. We got um, Power's uh, perspective on Latino influence in hip hop. Uh, like I said, you guys been in the game well over 25 years. From your perspective, uh, tell us about the influence that you've seen uh, Latinos in hip hop uh, from the beginning. What do you mean the influence for who? For me or for Pete? For, for everyone? Uh, for hip hop music, the um, culture. I think it's, yeah, it's definitely been present 
from the beginning, you know, especially as New Yorkers, we, we really, you know, it, it's like second nature to us. We know, everybody here knows the Latino influence, you know, like the older guys, I mean, even the young kids but in New York, but a lot of people like in the Midwest and maybe in the South or other areas, you know, definitely not the West Coast. West Coast is, has a lot of Latinos, but um, other areas maybe, you know, they don't, they don't really get it sometimes. So, you know, they didn't get to really see the, uh, you know, they didn't get to feel it because it's not, and it's not their fault. They didn't get to, they weren't raised around it like that. So they just like, huh, who are these dudes? Like, you know, right. but in New York, it's like second nature. You see a black guy, even a white boy, you always had a few white guys sprinkled in there in hip hop too in the beginning, you know, even in break dancing, like you had a couple of dudes that were always nice. So, you know, you always had your little thing. I mean, Latinos were very prevalent, but even Asian, like you had all kind, but there was people at the beginning in some way, shape or form, all rates are sprinkled in there, even if it was seldom light. But it was there. To me, you know, hip hop is, um, you know, it's all. Everybody loves hip hop. It's, it's addictive. It's, it's a, you know, for the youth. I mean, like everybody, there's nobody that doesn't rock with hip hop. So, you know, definitely in terms of what Power was saying with the Latino thing, yeah, it's good that people get educated and know that it just hap so happened that you know New York got a lot of Puerto Ricans and we were right there when the hip hop thing. But even bigger than that, just man, hip hop all encompassing, man. You know, and uh. You know, it's it's powerful, and and everybody should get their credit in there. You know, right? Definitely, and to know the accuracy of the history, you cannot deny that Puerto Rican Latinos were there from the beginning. If that's what you're, you know, you, if that's the issue you're dealing with, you damn right we were from the beginning. Right. Uh, personally, for you guys, I'll start with you, Power. Uh, any obstacles uh, since the beginning and when you got in there that you had to deal with trying to uh, fight for your credit uh, in hip hop earlier on? Well, um, I definitely will tell you that it was a struggle in the beginning. And um, I mean, I, I basically come from a hood that's um, very violent. So uh, I came from Jamaica, Queens, Hollis, Queens, Shadyville, you know, all of that encompassed in one. And, um, you know, I remember when I had my, um, my gold chain and I had a big O on my shit. And um, these motherfuckers said they was going to rob me. So um, I said, uh, you know, me and my man Dino, we just went and we just made some Molotov cocktails and we just blew up the park. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas' shoes was on fire. <laughs> but, um, you know, they, uh, they um, a after that, they said, like, mm, yeah. I'm fucking with them niggas right now. And uh, we became a force, you know what I'm saying? We became a, a movement that couldn't be fucked with because we all graduated together and made this shit tougher than leather. <laughs> right. So, um, you know, it, it was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, you know, I got a lot of boys that did mad years and shit like that in, in the penitentiary and shit like that. Um, uh, I fortunately um, have uh, not been a part of that, and I, I kind of like uh, navigated my way throughout not getting arrested and not being uh, a person that was, uh, you know, going to jail. So, um, you know, it's all good, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I love my bros and everything like that, and... Uh, you know, Shadyville forever, nigga. No doubt. How about you, Curious? Any obstacles when you were first getting in? Uh, nah. You know? Nah. Where I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on the Upper West Side with Rock Steady Crew. You know what I'm saying? Zulu Nation, it was all prevalent. So, like, um, you know, it was, like, amazing. Man, I mean, I remember being, like, eight years old and seeing Rock Steady when they were called Young City Boys. Before that, they break <laughs> dance in the park. It's like, you know, this is right across the street from my house. And in the, like, when they have, like, game, they have, like, a game night, like, in the community room in my housing complex. And uh, and dudes would be rocking on the mic, rhyming, like, and this was, like, like right just before, like, Rapper's Delight. So when you first heard dudes rapping over, be over breaks, it was so funky. It was just infectious. It, it just caught me like a bug. And then coming into the game, you know what I mean, way later, because this was, like, I was like eight years old. I came in the game when I was like 19, 18, you know, 19. Thanks to Bobito. Shout out my bro, Bobito. Bobito. Gave me my name too and everything. Curious George. That, 
Bob put me in the game. I say, you know, so um, but I, everything was like flying in my lap, man. Like I was like, I would get up there and start freestyling off the top of the head. Shout out to leaders of the new school, like Buster and them. They were the ones who were always telling Yo, me, Yo, just you gotta saw, freestyle. I, I, you gotta freestyle. I, I just saw that Chino mm-hmm. joined. Can 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 you can you put him in? Yeah, ah! you know what I'm yeah. Look yes, at that sir. nigga. Look what? at that New Jersey nigga. <laughs> a, a party ain't New a party. Jersey. Mean, motherfucker. Nah, <laughs> New right. Jersey. That's just how he came in on that verse, just like this. <laughs> you know what? Shut, you know what? You know what? Curious. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, you bu- yo, yo, that's you, my no, man. No, no, no. Hanging it up. Yo, curious, that, how can you, I yo, be down? On, one on. of them shits going crazy. You bodied that shit, dude. I, your Thank flow you. on that shit is in, the, the 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 fucking incredible. Yo, dude, now, y'all no, 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 your your selection of vocabulary, the way that the the words that you used, seriously, the way that they melt with the way that they melt uh, with the um with the landscape of the beat is uh, you, you yo you use like five different words that are really obscure. I'm not gonna say go through. No, you yo, killed it, dude. You, brother, you killed yo, it, man. You really killed it. Way hell in my seat. Yeah, but the so I, I use yeah, but the words that you use, I yeah. feel like if 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 the if the beat was a ca- if the brother, beat was a yeah. movie, if the beat was a movie, you casted it perfect. Uh, I appreciate you, family. I appreciate you, and I feel like what you just said to me to the third power for you. So, so man, you don't know, and, and, and I can't wait to get up. We got to get up, chill. Oh yeah, it, 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 yo, it might be something in this West Coast water. I don't know, but Let's go. I need a sip of that. <laughs> yo, but I, I just I just want to say this is I mean this from my fucking heart, yo. Know, my, yo, my 15 year old, 14 year old heart is so full right now, fucking with y'all niggas. Yo. You have no, yo, man. Look, and, and, I mean, you I, see the way you I, are. I, Did you see the way you feel like that? Like with with power rule. That's it, me too. Like right. you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. I I was like you. I saw him on video music box like right before we met. And I, the first thing I said to him was like, yo, B, you my hero. Like, yo, bro. Like, the impact. Right, Chino? When you saw him on there yo, first, you yeah. know, dude, doing it the way he did it, yo, I got that was like something right that never was chills. done before. My nigga, I, I seen him for the first time in person. Uh, I was at a party in, in L.A., and I think it was something to do. It was a Cycle Round party, a big up to big up to Cycle Round. Yeah. And, so and, I, seen, and I seen the corner of my eye and he had an aged of course yeah. and i was like <laughs> they're holding court like yeah you know sell shit bitch you know doing whatever <laughs> i'm doing and i seen this thing at the corner of my <laughs> eye it, and i was yeah. like yo i ran across the room like a yeah. fucking fanboy and was like bro yo. i just want to say thank you my nigga like yeah man i remember sitting on a on a couch with my sister who is uh who her daughter is Lady London, just to let you know how deep it is. Okay. Yeah. That's my niece. She's I remember fire. sitting, I remember, man, better than all of us. Yeah. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm watching no, video I'm music not, box, dude. dude. And I was yeah. and she was like, You need to be with the Puerto Ricans. And she it, it, it was the first time I ever seen the culture that the whole culture played in the three minutes of the song. Like just to show how the blacks and the Puerto Ricans get down and yeah. fucking and 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 how Princey was so dope on the mic and so controlling the gear was out of control and yeah. the hood, the girls, the car. Like it was the first time I seen I, I I seen LL with the vernacular and all of that and she rap let me and know like that, that I could that I could do that I could do it. Yeah. But I didn't know I could do it, do it right. until I seen this nigga, man. Right. Because, because and, and don't, yo, dis- and, don't and disrespect. Look, don't and disrespect. I gotta tell him this shit all the time. Like I tell him this, right, Power Rude? Don't I tell you that shit all the time? No I tell doubt. him all the time, bro. Like, yo, you don't understand because you know when you when it's you, you you don't think of it like that. But sometimes you just need your brother to let you know, bro. You don't really understand the type of impact that you had on us. For one, I'm not gonna speak for anyone else. I'm gonna speak for me and Chino, dudes like us. That shit was 
And look, we in different parts of the country. It didn't matter. That shit was crazy powerful, Yo, man. Dude, absolute. I remember, um, dude, I just remember feeling like, okay, there is a place for me. See, mm-hmm. see, no disrespect. Yo, Tito, of course, Tito. Yeah. But Tito, and no disrespect to you either, Prince Power. No, but yeah. Tito, but Tito was he was untouchable. I untouchable. could I couldn't I couldn't even re- but, when Tito but came out, I couldn't even soloist. When you seen him come up by himself, I mean he's in a group, but he was rapping by himself. And you and you knew the, you could just you knew from your own struggles the war that he must be fighting in a business. Like you knew it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And mm-hmm. in your heart. Yeah. Yo. Yo, sincere. Hey, I'm just geeking out. Hey, these, going these through a business. Niggas, I don't got to do nothing. These niggas going in. These niggas <laughs> going in. And um, uh, you can't get one word in. Sorry, I don't want to. I'm, I'm listening. I'm geeking out right now. So you guys go ahead. Man, I, I, I'm chiming in, in a minute. He's it, 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 fucking three kings, B. He's going to blow up. Because he does that. He lets it go. That nigga Chino. That nigga Julius. They the fucking real deal. Hold on. Let me let me move to Curious now. Yeah. Now I was at the new music seminar. Mm-hmm. I remember there was that. no Puerto Rican representation, none, my nigga, none. That nigga curious. <laughs> he was on some like, I, like people was throwing rose petals at his feet. He was so popular. I was like, yo, I know this dude is nice, but to be popular and be nice, it was a whole <laughs> nother. Shit, like you know yeah, you know, I, yeah, I used to, I used to have fun back then. I was the yeah. life of the party. I'm, yeah, you know, yeah. I still got a little left, but you know, the tank, you know, but, man, you got but, a lot left. Stop playing. Nah, it's rhyme wise. I'm a, I'm a problem, but, but, but in terms, yeah, you like, are a problem. In, ter- yeah. in terms of partying and all that, like, oh, the, uh, I got a little bit. I, I never liked it. If you ever seen me at a party, my nigga, it was because I either got. Yeah. Hustled into going to it, or I absolutely but, had to, my nigga. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not that guy at all. But that's why your focus is crazy. You see what I'm saying? I had to tell my sit down, get a little bit more locked in. Yo, sincere I, man, this shit is crazy because um, all three of us together on this right now, that shit is fucking uh, glorious. Bananas, hey, yeah, I love it. Bananas I because you know none of us have ever been in this situation where all three of us. We're talking together, so you got yes. the exclusive, nigga. Hey, yes. hey, it's a great way to start the year, and let me just welcome you guys and say thank you and happy Three Kings Day. Thank you, man. It's yeah. Three Kings Day too. It's it been a long time. I, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you too, about too. that. So, um, let me uh, let me let y'all know because I got to do my business shit. So, um, you know, Three Kings Day out on Bandcamp, Chino Excel, Curious, Power Rule. All together, you know what I'm saying? Like, you right. know, it don't get you know no that. better than that, B. It don't get no better than that. No, nah, no, nah, that's crazy. It, was, it is a privilege, man. I, you know, the way it came together was crazy. Like, it was crazy, man. It, once once Chino put that final touch, and I knew it. I was telling Power, I said, watch when this man jumped on this. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be out of here. <laughs> but then when he laid it, it was more out of here than I thought was out, already out of here. <laughs> Thank you, man. You know, Thank so, you. Yo, thank okay. you, brother. Ah, Chino, thank man, you. you fucking killed that shit so yo, hard. Come on, it, yo, shock y'all shit. I, I listen to that Shut shit, up. and I'm just like, yo, this nigga fucking Chino is on another level. But I like the way that the song it progresses. Elevated. Like I came in smooth, George got complicated, and then you got crazy complicated, <laughs> and it was just like but a all funky though. The, and yo, Chino, that was I love beautiful. Bro. What I love Thank you, most though is the is the uh the slow up. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll just then you'll relax, talk your shit, then you kick it back in. Like Thank the you, control, man. yeah, it doesn't sound oh it's so much, but it doesn't sound overdone. It's funky. Thank you, man. It's Thank showing you. your character. Thank you, bro. It's fire. Thank you. Know you. So, now I'm just, man, I'm just and, and then the love just, at the end. Geez. The love in the end that he oh, gave. Oh, the love at the end. The love at the how we The love at the end is real. The love at the end was real. That's that for this too. Man, for real. I also DJ Rome's from the Loop Packers. You know that's my engineer, my DJ. Okay. So he, me, and him is heavy on what Latinos did. What, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. when we lost, and we had just lost Marky, man, and that shit hurt. That shit hurt. Yes. And, yeah, um, rest in peace, Marky D. So I was in there with him, and it, it, he, and so you know, my engineer, we we do a lot of work. I'm very blessed to do a lot of work, but he was hyped on this one, like yo. Curious and power ruling you. He was like, "Gee, this is this is different, bro. This is something different, you know." Yeah. So, 
We were so I, I hyped hope in there that, doing you know, I hope I hope that it can um I hope that it can get out there to, to, to more people so they can appreciate it, you know. We don't really have all the much control over that. You know, we do what we can, but um hopefully man, people are people will tell a friend, man, pass it around, man. Let people hear it, man, because I think it's definitely um something that needs to be heard and it and it's definitely gonna uh, open people's minds in terms of a lot of things. It, it it sparks a lot of thought from the lyrical content to us doing it together to what it represents, not just for awesome Latino thing, but for everybody to get a yes. taste of our recipe, of our flavor, you know? Yeah, wh wh when I heard Toast Beat, I was like, I remember- Yeah, Toast! Fire. Toast. Man. Oh, God. The, Shout the, out to the, Toast, the, man. The confidence that that Prince had about this yeah. was one of the things, too. He's like, oh, I'm going to send you this thing. It's going to be incredible. Nigga, everybody says that. Yes. And then they send a fucking beat and it sound like my fucking no disrespect to my kids. No respect, baby. No disrespect. They don't make they don't make beats. But it sounds yeah. like my little daughter did that shit or some shit. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. And um and when I got that beat the, and I heard it fucking just mm, 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 the fucking the way that it sounds like a hurricane and shit, I was like, yo, this shit fire. Fire. This shit yo, fire. I, and I'm telling him I, I wrote my verse. I, I was coming back to my boy Juan Juan Chito's house. It'd be like four in the morning. Bobito Ross and Juan now. Chito. And uh and I pulled up, I double park, I double park on 155th, right? The bridge right before you go to the Bronx, go from, you know, from 155th from Harlem to, mm -hmm. to the Bronx. Mm -hmm. I just double parked right there. And I was like, yo, I, I got to jot some rhymes down. But I was going to write to something that I was working on. I was looking through my emails, like my beats, like, let me just lay something down. I just felt a little inspired. So, um, but then I saw the power thing. I said, oh, no, nah, this is my man. So let me just knock this out the way. Power always throwing me some shit. I said, yo, that's my brother. Let me knock this out the way. I listened to the beat, you know, like halfway through, turned the beat off, wrote it, yo, 20 minutes. That joint was done. You and wrote I'm that in 20 lie. minutes? Yo, 20 minutes, bro. It, it was no longer than a half hour. Prince, you, you, see, like you, see, Prince, you see what this nigga doing, though. You see what he's doing, <laughs> right? Mean, come on, man. Yo, but what my point was, not to I say, know like, this nigga. Yo, it's I know what this nigga does. You know how that should be. Yeah. Done. Those shits write themselves fast, and I'm going to proudly say it. I got a lot of music coming that I feel great about. And good, I good, say that good. I feel like on this song, this is one of my favorite verses that I did. And it came so good, quick. Man. Just listen, back to I... Chino's point in terms of the beat and toast beat and just the the energy of it, just whatever the spirit was, I caught it. It just I got out the way and that shit just so it's so, beautiful, man. I, like, I don't I don't I don't just be saying that shit is fresh, I don't have to because I'm me. Yeah. Nigga. That shit is though. I love that verse, man. I Thank love Thank you, that my verse. brother. I, I love, love your verse. verse. I love everybody that's no, this shit is fire. Yeah. Yeah. So? yeah, 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 yeah. So we got the perspective.